Meet iLogger, the simple but powerful interface to log messages in C# -sharp applications. To get started, inject an instance of iLogger into your class via its constructor. Notice that iLogger is actually a generic interface, so you need to specify a type parameter, which becomes the category name. To log messages, you can use one of the many log methods, like log information to log an informational message, or log error to log an error, which can also include exception details. These different methods write logs with different severity levels, so you can quickly isolate the most relevant logs when troubleshooting your app. Logging is usually configured in the appsetting.json file, where you can use a combination of categories and severity levels to tell the app which logs to enable. Now, where do these logs go to? Well, that's where logging providers come into play. By default, logs will be sent to your console, but that is just the default logging provider. You can easily configure other logging providers to send your logs to places like the Windows Event Viewer, Seek, Azure App Service, or even Azure Application Insights. The log APIs also support message templates, so instead of writing your messages like this, you can write them like this. This allows you to take advantage of structured logging, which allows logging providers to store not just the log messages, but also the parameters themselves as fields. This is incredibly powerful, because now, when you query your logs, you can quickly craft a query that filters by one of those fields, like the player ID here, and you can do similar things with any other logging provider. So don't forget to use iLogger in your next c -sharp application. Having good logs in prod will save your day. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure you hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.